matches of web development with myself, Russell Jones. Now we're going to install Ubuntu in Hyper-V, as there seems to be um, a lot of interest in Hyper-V in general. I did a video on um, Kali Linux. I think I should maybe update that one soon. But yesterday I went through this process a couple times um, for another tutorial that will be coming out um, after I record it, which hopefully is today. Now, we need, no, we don't actually need an ISO, but I do have one, and I used it yesterday, so um, instead of doing that, I'm going to use the uh, the quick create, and it lets you select Ubuntu, and it'll download it itself. Okay, so this is Hyper-V. This is Microsoft Edge, as you probably know. We are going to open Hyper-V again, because I just closed it, just to illustrate. There it is, Hyper-V. Now, um, Hyper-V Manager is what it is, and you can manage multiple computers, servers and desktops all throughout your um, your home or business or whatever, and mine is called Desktop. Desktop V3 something something. So, I have a Kali Linux and I have a Ubuntu 22.04 LTS already that we are not going to touch. You can have multiple VMs, as you can see, and we're just going to go ahead and right-click this desktop, which is my computer that we're on right here, this one, and we're going to right-click that sucker and hit the uh, wrong one. We're going to right-click desktop and quick create. Now, <clears throat> create virtual machine, select an operating system. I have not messed with the Windows 10 uh, or the Windows 11. I think I will very, very soon, but we are interested in Ubuntu 22.04 LTS, so let's go ahead and click that. If you had an ISO downloaded somewhere on your file system, you can hit local installation source, um, uncheck that sucker, because this is it's Ubuntu, not Windows, it's Linux. Anyhow, we're not using a local source, though. We're using this Ubuntu 22.04 LTS, as I said. Gives you a little overview over here. There's the... Uh, Code name Jammy Jellyfish. Download is 2.31 gigabytes. And more options gives us. We can name it. We can name it. We're gonna we're gonna name it. Um, hold on. I got myself kind of ghosted out. Ghosted out. Ooh, all right. Let's go for you. One, two, twenty-two, and zero four, four, tut. We're gonna hit create. We begin. Ubuntu two two zero four for the virtual machine created successfully. We can connect to it now. The Hyper V instance. I hit connect, and it's gonna boot after we hit start. And then we can do the install. So this is just like uh, jamming an ISO onto a USB uh, with like Bolina Etcher or something and then, uh oh, what's happening? Uh, I should have used the ISO I guess maybe, but now I look like a fool. Is he recovering? I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. Try that. Read all the Zoom on my boat, turn I mean, boot. They're broken packages. You just want to drop to root, I guess? No. We want to find the one that starts with Linux and add single after our own memory to add places. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's in the grub menu. Update grub bootloader. Sure. Uh, nope. I think there's everything in here. System summary. package. 
spare broken packages. Why not? Yes, we'll let it do what it wants. We're just letting it update. We can salvage this video. Let exaggerate. What the fuck is it? What are you? Uh, it says compile. What is the Linux? Azure package. But I guess we will never know. Complete Linux kernel for Azure systems that includes all the necessary dependencies. Oh, okay. In IBM. What are those dependencies? Example the package in Azure 511 cloud tools contains the Linux kernel version specific cloud tools for version 5.0. Holy fucking brilliant, eh? Remember, you always check the compatibility. Yeah, oh, that wasn't a whole lot of info, I don't care. So let's go back, back, out of that, out of that. Ooh, let me hit this. This one. Eat it, copilot. English. English. Tehran. Get him from Tehran. Your name? It is. Rose Jackman. I'm going to call it Jackman IBM just for fun. Pick a username. Username, stack, man, password is never defined. Nope. Yep. And I don't know if this still applies, but in the past when I've used the login automatically at this point, it, uh, it, it won't log in automatically and it'll just it'll just cat. So we're gonna leave it at requirement password to log in. Um, 
you can go ahead and try if you want. I know. I'm not going to risk it. It's, we just sidetracked for a long time. A long, long time. Help me. Line changing. Install K1X11. This shit is out. Installing stuff. Alright, we're installing it once more. We didn't do any. We have to install it. Thanks to fail to our SSD and this S service. Please wander socket auto FS service. We'll stop. Yep. Look what did I make? Shit. Woof. 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 Okay, now we we got you want to see here. We're done. We're done. You can connect me online accounts, but I'm like, it's... Yep. Live patch next. Uh, live patch is... It helps you keep your computer secure by applying some updates that would normally require restarting. Yes, yes it does. Like your kernel, it will update your kernel. Well, it's wrong. No reboot. But, you have to sign up for it, uh, you got to pay if you, got, if you want to use it all over the place. But, we're just going to hit next, and then get to this help improve Ubuntu, yes, whatever, sure. I like to let it fall that way, if it helps, it helps, it helps, it helps. Welcome to Ubuntu is not responding, let's wait for it. Privacy, next. Location services is off. That's good. That's good. You're ready to go. You can install software from your here. Um, but I'm not going to do shit. I'm going to hit install now on this updated software thing. Give it my password and let it do its thing. And then here's where I'm going to say sayonara. And I guess I should probably redo this with my ISO. But. Now we got two videos, two tutorials. Thanks for watching. Um, see you later.